Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Naya and on my channel we talk about whatever my heart desires um, because if you didn't know, I am a Gemini and I love talking about everything and anything. So just know it's gonna be all over the place. But it's, it's mostly about the same stuff, but it's about different stuff, if that makes sense, I don't know. Anyways, um, before we get started, Thank you for tuning in, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below so you can stay updated, and, you know, I don't know, <laughs> just subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the process of letting go. So, just imagine, like, Spongebob, like, the words letting go just, like, appeared on your screen, okay? We're still new to this stuff, so the, you know, the technique, the technique, the technical stuff, the little edits, it's not there yet. But just know, it will be one day. <laughs> but, to get started, well, I'm going to share with you what letting go means to me and just um, how I got to this point in my life because I'm telling you, two years ago, I was not the same person. I don't even know who I was and sometimes I'm like confused when I look at myself or hear myself talk because I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, you are not like that two years ago. I was a mess. I'm not gonna lie. If you know me, you knew I was a mess. But if you didn't know me, I would never show that I was a mess, okay? Period. But anyways, what does letting go mean? So, letting go means, drum roll, letting go is just accepting a situation as it is, not what you think it should be, not what you wanted it to be, not what you wished and hoped it could be. It's whatever happened in front of you, whatever you saw, whatever you heard, whatever you tasted, whatever your five senses saw, that is exactly what happened and you have to accept it and accepting just means just like okay that is it like oh well, all right i guess that's how it is it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> i don't know i cringe myself out sometimes also letting go means letting go of control over a situation or outcome so if you ever saw like the little diagram thing of what you can control and what you can't control, like can't control. So you have the little bubble that's like what you can, which is your thoughts, your movements, your eating habits, your drinking habits, whatever is to deal with you. That's what you have control of and everything else is out of your control. So the same thing goes for letting go. You can only control what you do. You can't control another person. And if you do, you're kind of manipulating someone. But that's, a, that's another topic. You can't control outcomes. You're not God. You're not the universe. You're you. So you have to just control how you react to situations. And how you react to situations tells so much. And it also determines what's going to happen after the situation happens. And then lastly, letting go just means that you trust that whoever you believe in has a better plan for you. You believe that everything is working out for you because you trust that God universe is not gonna steer you in the wrong direction. All right, so once you have all of those together, you're really like, I'm telling you, you're aligned and when you're aligned with who you are, with your path, with everything, everything is going to come to you. It's a little fly thingy. So, everything is going to come to you. I lived it. I am living proof that letting go, good things happen from it. If you, like, I'm telling you, I really wish I did, like, a before video because before I had no trust I was not letting go, I was crying, I was wondering why people kept leaving my life, I was sad, didn't love myself, okay? I really did, I'm not gonna lie. But, once I let go, once I released things that were no longer serving me, once I trusted, and heavy on the trust, once I trusted that everything was working out for me, I'm telling you now, 
everything started working out for me and it was crazy at first i was like am i being punked is this really happening and then i'd be scared because i'm like oh my gosh like good things are actually happening to me is something bad gonna happen after but i'm telling you right now it's true once you let go everything is gucci it's because when you let go you're no longer resisting what is actually supposed to happen things happen for a reason everything happens for a reason everything on your path that happens to you is helping you become that person that you are meant to be so the longer you hold on resist anything on your path the longer it's going to take you to get to where you want to be and then also when you resist i don't know about anybody else but i notice whenever i'm resisting like my whole outside world is trash like i don't want to say trash but more like things are going my way i'm having you know conflicts with people i'm having a, a bad day like it's just things are just resisting and i noticed whenever i was resisting and when i wasn't different things will happen when i wasn't resisting when i was like oh yeah ha, ha, yeah let's go let's just go with the flow the flow was flowing things was happening i met people that i never knew that i'd run into things happened to me that i never thought would happen to me manifestations started to come in and i was effortlessly i'm like what the heck you know things i was trying so hard for a few years ago started happen happening <laughs> for me effortlessly so with that being said let go <laughs> so you're probably like naya how do i let go i want to let go so badly but i just don't know how i got you i'm gonna share some tips with you on how to let go things i did that do work that i have proof that it does work and i want to share it to you so number one, the first thing that you need to do is write a list of everything that makes you happy. Alrighty, so it could be, you know, going for a walk. I love going for walks. That makes me happy. Spending time with people. That makes me happy. Cooking, doing this, painting, music. That stuff makes me happy. People that cherish me make me happy. People that tell me they care about me makes me happy. Like be very detailed about the list of things that make you happy whether it's how people treat you whether it's hobbies just make a list and once you have that list now you have a cheat code now you see what you allow into your life and anything else that is not onto this list gotta go gotta dip out gotta release it because it's no longer serving you. And the longer you hold on to something that's not serving you, like it's it's like being in quicksand. Like you're just going down, down, down. You don't want to do that. You want to go up, up, up. So yeah, write a list. Second thing, meditate. 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 <laughs> that was offbeat. But meditating, specifically, if you can, look up meditation for letting go because that's even better it's literally helping you let go i've been doing this meditation for about two years this 10 minute meditation of letting go and trusting the universe for two years and when i tell you i mean i told you my life changed that's literally one of the things that happened and in the meditation i'm you know meditating but at the same time i'm hearing affirmations of ways to let go like Day by day, what is meant for me will find its way. Like, having that played in your head every single day, like, it's stuck there. My brain is rewired to think like that. And this is another video, but you know your thoughts create your reality. So, there's that. Another thing is to focus on yourself. So it's not selfish to focus on yourself. It's only selfish when you put other people below you, okay? When you focus on yourself, when you have all this love, you wanna give it to people. You wanna feed the whole fam, okay? That is not selfish, okay? Now, if you wanna hog that shit for yourself, now you're selfish, 
and things are not gonna go out for you. That karma is gonna come back, but that's a <laughs> that's a different story. So love yourself, focus on yourself, focus on your health, focus on your mental, focus on what you're putting in your body, drinking, all that stuff. Who you're around, your surroundings, the music you listen to, everything that has to do with yourself, just focus on it. Do your hobbies, do what makes you smile. Because once you do that, I'm telling you right now, everything is just going to come. Because now you're in the receptive mode to whatever you want because you're at that frequency. So if you didn't know, now you know, we are all energy beings and we all vibrate on a certain level. So when you love yourself, when you're taking care of yourself, you're going on a higher frequency. And when you're on a higher frequency, you're starting to attract the things that are meant for you versus if you're on a lower frequency. And I'm not saying like, you always are gonna be on a high frequency because in life, you're never going to be, you know, the same person every day. At least for me, I'm never the same person every single day. But, um, you know, we have ups and downs. I like this movement. If you know me, this is one of my favorite dance moves. That's, that's off topic. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, loving yourself, focusing on yourself, focusing on whatever is going on with you. Fourth, I think I'm on the fourth one. Um... What's the fourth one? I had it in my head and then left. Ah, there we go. Surroundings, the people around you. Like, if it's not serving you, boo. If your friends are trash, if your friends don't treat you well, not even friends, if your friends, family, significant other, like if they're trash, like you gotta let them go. There's no, they're not getting better. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but please leave that person leave that situation it's not gonna get better they're only bringing you down and the longer you're in there the worse you're gonna feel and the harder it is to get out so this is your sign whoever needs to hear it get out of there get out of there skedaddle if you're in a terrible environment i know it's very hard i can't be like oh just up and leave but you know try to put yourself in environments that uplift you and not take you down all right that's very important because your environment plays a, a big giant role on how everything affects you. Like who you are, like, it, it's very important. And then lastly, but not least, trust. Trust, it is so hard. It is literally so hard, okay? Because trusting, especially when you like low-key have trust issues and control issues like um i'm talking about myself i don't know about you but for me i'm kind of a control freak um not as much anymore but before i was a control freak like literally waking up i had to make sure everything was boom 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 i had to do this this and this if i didn't do it then i'd feel bad and then i just beat myself up about it controlling the weather i thought i could control the weather are you serious what crack was I on before? No, I'm joking. I didn't believe I can do the weather. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Like, I, I thought I can just control everything, every outcome, every situation, every person. Like, I can control that, and I can't. And every time that I tried to and it didn't work out and I got upset, it just made it worse. So, just trust and let go that everything is working out for you. That is the best thing to do. That's literally all you have to do is keep in your mind that everything is working out. Even if it doesn't look like it's working out, it's working out somehow. It might not look like it today. Maybe next week, you'll be like, oh my God, that's why it happened. Oh my goodness, that's, I can't believe that that's why it happened. That's exactly how you're gonna be because that's how I was. I was like, oh my gosh, like no way, it's all connected because everything is literally connected okay so do those things and I promise you you're gonna literally see a change within a week of doing these things like you might like, damn I can't believe it it honestly takes one day mm, three days tops let me say that I mean you know let's be realistic here yeah maybe a week maybe a week no 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 I trust three days three days is three days is gonna be a good day time but with that being said 
try this out i hope this message helps somebody i know it would have helped me a long time ago but you know i'm here making it now for you so if you have any comments concerns or if you whatever you you know if you want me to talk about something else comment below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye